hello guys welcome to another video here on pico ctf and today we're going to be solving a medium challenge here called trickster um, this is under uh, all difficulties web exploitation for pico ctf 2024 okay so um we're gonna without further ado we're just gonna dive in but the description here said i found a web app that can help process images png images only okay now let's hit enter here uh so he says welcome to my png processing app here we can upload a file and so on and so forth but the thing here now is for us to be able to uh upload a file and take advantage of it it has to be a png and then for us to be able to manipulate this uh, we might have to send like a web shell but that web shell would be in form of a png but the best way to do this is to intercept and make some changes so basically we're going to uh, look for a php web shell and then uh, edit it to be a png file and try to upload it i can't waste we can't waste time here because it already says png images only so if we try to upload anything that's not a png it's going to just automatically reject it uh, so what we'll do is just go straight to look for a php web shell uh, web shell okay i found one here it says easy simple php web shell so let me increase this a little bit so we have this so i'm going to copy this web shell right here copy come over to my terminal so we come over here and i'm just going to create a file and call it nano shell dot png and then paste that particular uh, code the only difference or whatever change i'm going to make here right now would be to actually put a png at the beginning of this code so i'm going to navigate to the beginning of the code and then i'm just going to put png so it, it's, it's just going to read as a png file first okay now i'm going to control o save it and control x so ls uh ls this is in shell.png pwd this is in root all right now with that being said i can go back to my file upload page uh, but before i do that i have my bulb suit ready go to proxy have my intercept on come back here turn on my foxy proxy if you don't have foxy proxy you can use the browser here on uh, the bulb suit so turn on my foxy proxy have it on and then i'll go ahead to browse to upload that particular file it's in kali uh yeah it's it you know what i'm just going to quickly cp usually it's hard for me to get a file there i'm going to cp shell.png i'm going to take it to um home home kali and desktop and then uh, yeah so when i come back here i'm going to be easily get it yeah on desktop so click on shell.php upload and it's intercepted it so this is the intercept right now so we do have this and then this is the content of our code right uh, the shell right but the changes we need to make here is in the name of the file so whenever we try to run it it will be executed but for order to do that the content type says image slash png so we need to change it to application all right application slash it's going to be application slash php and then uh the name of the file we're going to change it from shell.png to shell.png.php okay so with that being said now we can now forward and let's see what happens over here so we have file uploaded successfully and is a valid png file we shall process it and get back to you hopefully now it's time for us to take advantage of this so i'm going to turn off my bulb suit disable that and then on this web uh, command here i'm going to take more like a command uh, code injection here we possibly know that these files are uploaded to uploads and then the name of the shell is the name of the file is shell uh, dot png dot php and then we hit enter voila so we get a web shell and in this web shell you can see if we start executing anything id we can get id of the uh, 
the, the machine so we're actually in so who am i and uh, ww data so the point now is let's um look for a way to so we're in pwd so let's look for a way to um be able to read or find the file or the the flag so let's see if cd dot 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 works and pwd it doesn't move cd dot dot doesn't work all right so let's look for a file let's use the find command so just find a, any directory or all the directory um we're looking for a name um for any name that has asterisk any file that starts you know the white card asterisk dot and ends with dot txt okay so let's find this and see what happens so we'll execute this makes it easier voila so we have a lot of files that might end with that but we'll have some permissions and then okay okay so we have we have this in html.txt this looks um, strange so we're going to check the instruction it will be an instruction robot.txt so let's copy this ctrl c and let's just cut that and see what is in it so we'll say cut ctrl v and execute voila we got our code so i'm going to copy this uh, i'm going to copy this and you can just come back here and then uh, paste this here as our flag i believe and let me see you're supposed to start with pico ctf so i'm just going to come take this out and take this other one out and then submit okay. voila we got that correct so thank you guys for studying with me thank you for learning with me i'll see you guys in the next video ciao